REWID, I'm Danielle Lynn, and we are back live here at Supply Side West uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And if this is the first time you're attending Supply Side West, lucky you. It's been happening here for so many years, and we're going to be talking to the show management as we continue. And I've been here for at least almost 13 years, off and on, and it's been a, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to share at the broadcast level. Our program is heard all around the world in over 107 countries, and the expertise that we spend our time talking about is the raw materials and taking them to the public so that they understand what you do here in a scientific manner, and we help it uh, as far as making sense. So. I think at the end of the day, you know, today we're having the privilege to talk with the people that maybe you never get a chance to know who they are. Maybe you don't know how many hours they've spent on that product, how much they've been doing the due diligence to make sure that the quality and the integrity is there. Uh, but for the listening audience that will hear this after this event uh, around the world, uh, you need to know that this is the perfect marriage of, you know, science and, as I said, good sense, putting it into a way that... Um, so when you go to the store and you buy a product, you don't have to look at the label because you know that the trusted brands are do and delivering the things that are important and finding the way to do it right. Um, a number of, about actually a year ago, I was at a trade show on the East Coast and a, a beautiful woman stepped out in the aisle and caught my attention. And it turned out to be a company called Cornerstone Consulting which over the time, I wasn't really thinking about e-commerce. So if you're thinking about your platform, your accounting system, the backbone of your company, then this is going to be a very important conversation because as I got to learn more about, you know, where are your, uh, let's just say you have customers all over the world and you're shipping out product, how are you tracking that? How are you keeping track of what's, you know, where did it go, which batch, what, uh, the flow that at some point if you have to go back and find out where did that product go to, how are you doing that? And that relates to your e-commerce. And joining me is the Vice President of Cornerstone Consulting, and Eleanor Mullaney is with us. Uh, she is not only in charge, so the first part, she's going to be with us for two days. The first part is going to be about the solution. So if you're setting up your company, or let's just say you're in expansion mode and you need to have a bigger, more robust system, we're going to talk about that. Tomorrow we're going to talk about social media marketing and what it can mean to you as a company, because if you're not up on it, I mean, I actually have some people's cards here that do not have a website. Can you believe that? No website on your business card. How can you be in business like not having a <laughs> telephone, right? So it's wonderful to have you here. Oh, I, I, um, I've had uh, just a tremendous experience when I came down to Florida to your offices with everybody that was there, and of course, uh, Dave and Ashley, Bose, and I, uh, I, um, I have to say that I feel very naive at the end of the day about really what it takes on this floor for somebody who's running maybe an ingredient company that has a hundred products in there or you know they're specializing and they really have to keep track of that. First let's talk about Cornerstone Consulting and tell us what they do as far as a service for the people that are attending. Well for more than 30 years Cornerstone Consulting has been providing state-of-the-art cutting-edge technology and software solutions to mid-sized companies so that the mid-sized companies can serve their customers better. That's our core goal. And we do this with the software and technology that we provide. We come into clients who are struggling with non-integrated software systems, and that's very, very common. A lot of businesses will have one type of accounting software product. They'll have a completely different customer relationship management software program a completely different inventory management software program, a completely separate e-commerce system, and none of the data talks. And what happens is a lot of employees end up just wasting an inordinate amount of time. They perform redundant tasks. They enter the same information into multiple systems because the systems aren't designed to talk and they just waste a lot of time. And, and it's, we come in and we just take care of that. We change that, we streamline the entire system so that the operations are efficient and that data only has to go into a software system one time. Is part of the problem that I, first of all, technology is shifting so fast that it's hard to keep up. A lot of companies have been in business and then for the startups, a lot of companies don't have the budgets. Uh, do you think that the problem is people perceive that they can't get into a system that's economically viable or that they're so entrenched in what they do that making the changeover, they just don't have the time because they're working within the company every day to day? 
I think it's a combination. And you're so right about just keeping pace with change. My gosh. <laughs> you know, even ourselves, Cornerstone Consulting. We go out of our way to make sure that we are very well informed about what is next, what's coming next. Um, and what happens is when we're talking with a lot of our clients, we realize that they don't want to change. They don't want to make a change. They're content with what they have. They're scared of change. A lot of people are very frightened. Of, of changing software systems. Yeah, it's but a big deal they, because you, f you figure you know it and every time, right. you, even if you put one, you decide you get a mail program and you don't know how to work it and then it seems like your whole office can tumble down. So if you're tracking large quantities of materials where you're having to really follow through, so how do you actually work? So, so somebody's here and they're, they've got a decent sized company, you know, and they, they want to grow it, but the that time, that 90 day, 100, it could be even more. I mean, I've been talking to Cornerstone for almost a year now, mm -hmm. and the thought, even if we started to roll in a new system for our, our mail, tracking mm -hmm. the mail, was, you know, it was only, we haven't finished the system yet, so it did seem overwhelming to me Ex as a company. Exactly, but when you start looking at your processes and really evaluating the cost involved, I mean, for instance, a typical client, when we walk in and we talk to them about their processes, mm -hmm. we just ask them, how do you process an order that comes in through your e-commerce website? Or an order that comes in over the phone or through EDI or by fax or even by email? And typically, here's how it goes. <laughs> it comes in, someone has to take that order, they have to enter it into an accounting system. Then another person has to enter it into a customer relationship management system, another person into the inventory. So you're talking about three employees where uh, if you get a management system that's integrated, you could reduce that down even it, in employee spending. Exactly. Okay. What companies are doing, unfortunately, is they can spend at least $50 or, or more per transaction just to process one sale, one sale of one item. And it's staggering. And so what we do is we talk to them about the value that a streamlined, integrated, completely unified accounting software, customer relationship management, inventory management, and e-commerce system can provide. Because there's so many tasks that can be automated in a system such as ours. So much time that can be saved that it actually, a, a great question that I ask a lot of people that I speak with is, well, what kind of value do you place on freedom? I mean, when, when you add up all the time that you're going to be saving your, your organization, I mean, seriously, what kind of a value can you place on that? Yeah. Well, and also it's not, uh, you know, the freedom is an important part, but the stress is a, a exactly. massive part. And one thing can go wrong, you know, if you're tracking and one thing, you know, there was a, a, there's a new satellite system that we were just dealing with and they, for a moment, lost track of the, of the accounts. They could not find it in the system. So the whole satellite system went down, and it was simply somewhere they couldn't find where that software you know, had oh. stepped. So as you go into the marketplace, uh, and I know, I, I mean, tomorrow, I, not that this isn't exciting to me, but I know that a lot of companies are trying to figure out how to even, first you're trying to get the management organization part, then now you're trying to integrate social media marketing, and you're trying to figure out how to to move into that area. So it seems that with an integrated system, you can again be able to say, well, I'd like to have a website, but I'd like to have it be an interactive website. I'd like television exactly. on our Exactly. In your exactly. system, you would be able to do that. Exactly. You have all of that. It's one unified, completely integrated software system. You have the accounting, the inventory management, the e-commerce, as well as the customer relationship management. And we also provide our clients within the e-commerce website a built-in blog, which is absolutely critical now for proper search Some people search don't engine. even know. When you say blog, you know, nowadays we're saying, oh, you should have a blog. Like, it's like, you, well, you should have a website. <laughs> right, well, you right, should, right, but, right. You know, I mean, how many people, okay, know, anybody that's standing here now, raise your hand if you have a blog. Could you put your hand up if you have created a blog? Not one blog. Oh, oh wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a blog. Oh, we, have, we, have we have one. You have we, a blog? Two. two. I'm sorry, Anybody two. else have a blog? Wow. Yeah, right? Wow. So, you know, well, I mean, how many people have blogs? It, but yet in, in five years, do you think everybody will have a blog? So that's pretty, so well, you're saying that your system, you'll, will you help somebody walk through it if they don't even oh, know how to definitely. do a blog? Oh, okay. definitely. Oh, sure. But 
what's absolutely critical is you have to have the right platform, the platform that pretty much the internet is looking for now, so that you're able to have, uh, let's say, a PHP and MySQL e-commerce site, as well as a system that is very popular that we provide our clients with. It's called SAP Business One, yeah, and that's actually, that. yeah, that's the platform for that is SQL and .NET. Those are definitely, they're the platforms that the internet wants. And so it's, it, this is, like you're saying, terminology, like, and that, you know, that I, I have no idea and a lot of people <laughs> will have no idea. Well, but, if I come, let's say I have a company and I want to expand a company as I'm working through the system with you, do you define also in the beginning and saying, we can stage this in so I may not be able to do this yet? Like, I don't oh, have definitely. to put it all, oh, and I don't have to buy yeah. it all, or is it like a one package? How do you well, work? Well, the SAP Business One, out of the box, you are provided with accounting software, as well as the integrated inventory management software, as well as the material re requirements planning, um, all as one unified system just right out of the box. But then what we do is we integrate the Comgen e-commerce portion so that you'd have the accounting, the inventory management, the customer relationship management, the material requirements planning, mm -hmm. and e-commerce as one seamless, completely unified system yeah, yeah. out of the box. But the way that we do make it affordable for a lot of our clients is we offer it as a completely hosted solution. So it's one fixed amount that a client would could pay per month. So I'm not going, like right now when I started my radio show, we had somebody handling the podcasting and somebody handling each different division. You're saying that you come in, and I know we've been talking about a website, and uh -huh. what I also liked is that you said that I could go in. I wouldn't need a special IT person. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly right. Yes, the, the reason why the hosted solution is really popular with some business owners is because it's a fixed amount. It's a fixed fee. They don't have to hire and train um, professional server hardware type professionals, technicians, to manage their servers, to take care of service packs and patches and upgrades and networks and they just leave all of that to us. Yeah. And then we can also take care of all of their software needs. Well, and if you're a vice president of a company, and let's just say you're a small company, because SAP is the largest accounting software company in the world, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. So yes. a lot of, when you hear about SAP, you say to yourself, well, that's way too large for my company. But let's just say you're a $100 million company, or $150 million, you can handle, your system can handle that. Definitely, SAP Business One um, could definitely handle up to 500 users in the system, mm. and it can ha handle a very large transaction, transactional database. Okay. Um, our typical client size can start at uh, 10 employees. A company can be generating 10 million or more in revenue per year, um, and we usually work with manufacturers and those within the wholesale distribution industry, the retail industry, as well as the natural products industry. Very, very popular solution for natural products industry. Um, and the, the combination of SAP Business One with our e-commerce product, which is Comgen e-commerce, is just extremely popular. And it's, I know that a lot of people may think that just because SAP created SAP Business One, that it's this bohemian <laughs> software program. It's really not. It's very simple to use. It is intuitive. You can automate almost any task you can think of. And I often say to my clients, like, why would you <laughs> want to do the work when the software can do it for you? you know? Well, I think that um, what if, if you're a company out here and you're looking for a system and you're trying to figure out how you're going to integrate things like blogs, you're going to integrate things like activated. I mean, look, a lot of you are going to end up with video programs. You're going to start doing a lot more things that you never even thought of. Before, you'd just go out and you'd get your raw material, and that's all you did. You bought your raw no, In fact, nobody even branded. If you remember on this floor over the years, nobody even had a brand on their product. Now you're talking about not only being a, a branded company, you're talking about b shooting videos, you're talking about integrating your systems globally, you're working all over the world tracking your raw materials. Uh, my understanding throughout the time that I've gotten to know what you know Cornerstone is doing at the company, that they're going to bring you a system that is a one-stop shop 
And it doesn't matter if you want to start a brand new store. Maybe you're an integrated raw material company, you know, in, going B to B. But now you're thinking, well, you know what? I'd like to go B to C. Exactly. And we want to bring a store to the market. But now, how are you going to do that when you only have three people on the floor and you can't do it by yourself? Well, that seems to be what I've learned from my company. The system can provide. So even if I'm not, I don't want to grow ten more employees. I can grow my global reach because of the internet That's package exactly that you're right. offering. That's yeah. Well, tomorrow I know we're going to talk about a subject that there is and anybody. Um, how many people, if you could raise your hand for a second, feel like they know how to do uh, internet marketing? And you have a store, right? Very few people. So I'm going to guarantee you that most of you on this floor that are not doing internet marketing in the next three to five years, that will become the most important part of your business. And so tomorrow we're going to talk about that. And we're going to be talking about how to use social media marketing to draw customers, to build leads, to bring packages closer into your business so you're not going to spend outward. You're going to bring it to you by having the knowledge and wisdom of what you're going to be talking about. Definitely. Have you seen a change in the last minute or two? Have you seen a tremendous change over the last 12 months? It's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. For instance, uh, Facebook alone has over 500 million, 500 million <laughs> active users. <laughs> that to me is just, that's staggering. Yeah. And to think that Facebook really just hit the market not very long ago, yeah. it's, it's mind boggling. But as a business, you have to be prepared. You have to have a strategy. And if you don't, you're just missing out on a, a a lot of opportunities. Yeah, and it's a demographic change. So if you're, I hate to say this, but you know, if you were born and you're like 20 now, okay, <laughs> you were born with a particular chip. That's exactly and you can't right. buy that chip. The only thing you can do is you can contract with people like Cornerstone mm -hmm. to pick up on that, you know, so that you can make the prog progress because otherwise you'll get left behind. That's so tomorrow's exactly very, right. going to be very, very important. And, and it, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, can I add one more thing? Yeah. One very important uh, market that is is just it's rising it's skyrocketing it's actually the mobile commerce that i really think everyone here needs to know about <laughs> it's going to be um, huge yeah it, it's it's just growing leaps and bounds every, by by the minute and if you don't have a technology platform that can support mobile commerce you're going to be behind the curve and we don't like our clients ever to miss out on opportunities for making more sales. Yeah, so that's and going to take, connect you from your office to your mobile phone, and they're just going to spin, and they're going to say, oh, I'll look up this product, and if they're not, you're not there, and it has to be set up through technology. That's exactly right. right. That's right. Exactly. And our platform is ready for that. All right. And there are a lot of platforms, unfortunately, that aren't. Well, let me just check here for one second. Sure. So, tomorrow you're going to be on with us. Yes. All right, so yes. check the board right there. We have the schedules each and every day posted. And Eleanor Mullaney oh, from Cornerstone thank Consulting, thank you. you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much, Danielle. It was All such right. a pleasure. Look forward to it. Thank you. You're welcome.